Good morning! It's time to explore Boho. First up, breakfast. I'm still on Panglao Island and I'm at going to Hing Hinag Danan Cave as we explore Bohol. Now I've driven here from Alona Beach, only took about 15 minutes on the motorbike. Uh, you come to a dead end road in a little place called Dawis. We're still on Panglao Island, so we haven't gone to the main island of Bohol yet, but this is the island of Bohol and it's a Hingang Dayang Cave. Let's go inside and see what it's like. There's lots of shops and souvenir things around here. Here we go, here's the entrance. Be an entrance fee. Let's go in, see what it's like. Out of the cave. Oh. Ooh, it's actually, even though it's hot out here, it's quite fresh by comparison. Thank there we go, thank you very much. So that's Hinang Danang Cave on Panglao Island. Quite a beautiful cave with a tidal pool in the bottom that's beautiful and clear. You can swim. It's 50 pesos per person to go inside, plus an extra 50 if you want to swim inside. Water is really warm in there and it's very, very humid. The whole cave is really warm. I thought it was hot outside when I went in. When I went in, poof, bucketing with sweat. Almost felt cool when I came out. But yeah, that's Hingang Danan Cave. Great, uh, easy to get to from it's on Panglao Island from alone about 10 minutes. But now I'm gonna find the bike and go and explore some more of beautiful Boho. And the early morning rain I had has passed. I can see blue skies. I better put on the sunscreen and a hat and the sunglasses. Let's get going. A small break in the exploration while it pours with rain. This is one of the problems of hiring a scooter is that if it rains, you either get wet or have to hide. <laughs> Hiding from the rain under a tree. Big four mobile. Bikes getting a bit wet. But hopefully it's a short shower. Though. The sun is trying to come through already. I hope it'll rain a little bit. Camera's getting wet, I'm getting wet. Hopefully the sun will be out soon or we'll carry on exploring Bohol. <laughs> and on the Lobok River, the river that runs through the main part of Bohol, Quite scenic and peaceful and beautiful. And you can take a river cruise where you can get meal, a drink, and entertainment. I think it's about 450 pesos and it takes about an hour. You cruise down the river, have a sort of buffet lunch served to you, which you have to grab before the Chinese do. And then and uh, enjoy the river. Although I must admit I don't really enjoy them because they've got like karaoke singers on board and you don't really get to see the beauty of the river. You get singing and fighting over the buffet. Just my It's a long bow hole, but on the mainland, 
near a place called Bipila, Bila. And we are in a man-made forest. It's a beautiful forest. Huge trees curving across the road. Beautiful area going up there. Really is nice. People are being a bit silly though. They're like sitting in the roads trying to take the picture and cars are coming past. So just be a bit sensible we're here. Also, please note, I can't believe people come here, which is a place of nature. It's really beautiful, man-made forest. You know, and I still see people throwing the rubbish down beside the road, tossing it out the car and throwing it down. It's a beautiful area given to nature. We're proud of the fact that it's a man-made. You know, we made a forest. Wow! And we're still destroying them. So, please be responsible. Don't cause an accident by sitting in the road and doing silly things, which I've seen a lot of people doing. Not causing an accident, but doing silly things. And please take your rubbish home with you. But anyway, as, you drive through, as you're driving through from Lobok River to Carmen Hills, which is the Chocolate Hills, you'll pass through the man-made forest. Enjoy. So the next stop, now it's quite a drive, whether you're on a tour or on a motorbike, to Carmen, which is almost in the centre of Bohol, to see the Chocolate Hills. Now these are limestone hills that, in the dry season, all the vegetation turns brown, so they look like the area is dotted with Ferrero Rocher chocolates. Now unfortunately, this time of year, after going up, there's still a bit of vegetation, so they're just lots of hills that you can imagine are made of chocolate. We are at the Tarshia Centre. The Tarshia is a tiny little nocturnal monkey. Now, you can only see them during the day because they're endangered, but they're nocturnal. So they're usually sleeping during the day, but there's three or four centres around the island where you can see them. Now, it's supposed to keep quiet. You can hear how nice and quiet it is here. Not very, but you're supposed to keep quiet because you mustn't frighten them. You can take pictures, but you mustn't use flash because the flash will frighten them um, and could possibly give them a heart attack. They're very delicate little creatures. And there's guards, uh, guards, guides and guards up here just monitoring because you mustn't touch them, mustn't disturb them. Poor things are trying to sleep during the day and all these tourists coming along and taking pictures with them, including the ones that I hope to take for you. Aren't they cute? And that brings me to the end of my roaming around. It's now time to drive back quite a long way from Carmen to Alona and visit Alona Beach in the evening. Now, admire the scenery on the way. It's quite amazing how the life that goes on in the island. And on the way back, I didn't get to the beach for sunset, but I stopped beside the road to watch this beautiful sunset. So let's enjoy this before I take you down to Alona Beach at night. Now, there is Alona Beach, which is on the south of Panglao Island, which is a good beach to go and visit during the day but it really comes to life at night. And this is the road down to Alona Beach. It's supposed to be pedestrianized, but there's still a few things going up and down. But it is lined with restaurants, bars, cafes, souvenir shops, massage, tattoo parlors, 
drink shops, Korean Mart, all sorts of things down here. So this is how it goes down to the beach. Pick your place to eat. Evening. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna find somewhere to eat. Let you know what the food like. Well, I hope you enjoyed our day in Bohol. We didn't touch, well, we went round, had a great time despite the rain. But if you're enjoying it, remember, give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment down below if you've got other suggestions of places to go. And remember to subscribe if you want to join me every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for journeys around the world. Now let's go get some supper on Lona Beach.